infinite allergies are common, particularly in the Western world. While more frequent in babies who are bottle-fed, allergies still affect 2 to 3 out of every 100 babies who are breastfed. They can be a nightmare to deal with, and aren't very pleasant for your little one either. However, hope has been provided to parents, thanks to the Australian Society of Clinical Immunologists and Allergists, or ASCIA. The new ASCIA guidelines of 2016 claim introducing solid foods into a baby's diet earlier can reduce the risk of infant allergies. How early can solid foods be introduced? Up until recently, the main advice given to parents has been that breastfeeding up to the age of 6 months can help to reduce the risk of infant food allergies. However, the ASCIA had admitted that there isn't enough consistent evidence to suggest this is true. However, they still promote breastfeeding up until the age of 6 months due to its many other health benefits. You can, of course, start to introduce solids gradually while still largely breastfeeding. So what age is not recommended to start infants on solid foods? According to the ASCIA, it's a good idea to start adding solids from 4 months of age. In particular, allergenic foods should be introduced such as milk, eggs, nuts, and fish. The theory behind this is that the later you wait to introduce these foods into your baby's diet, the more chance there is of their immune system recognizing them as a foreign substance later on. So logically, the earlier you introduce such foods, the less likely your baby will be to develop an allergy. Of course, this isn't always the case, and allergies cannot always be prevented. Therefore, it's highly recommended you follow the advice given to you by a health practitioner. It's also worth remembering that solids which are introduced at the age of 4 months should always be blended into a smooth consistency to prevent choking. How to tell if your little one is ready for solids? Just because these new guidelines suggest starting your little one on solids at 4 months old, it doesn't mean that's what you should definitely do. All babies are different, and it's vital you pay attention to when your little one is ready to move on to solids. There are a few development features you need to look out for before attempting to feed your baby solids. For example, they should be able to hold their head up without help. If you still need to support their head upright, it's not a good idea to attempt to feed them solid food. Secondly, they can make a chewing motion. Even blended food requires some amount of chewing. Very young babies are unable to push the food back into their mouths and then swallow voluntarily, so you do need to wait until your little one can do this before they can move on to solid food. 3. Dribbling is reduced. At the same time your baby can make a chewing motion, dribbling tends to reduce a lot. So if your little one starts to dribble less, that can be a good indicator that they are ready. And finally, 4. They are able to sit upright with help. You don't have to wait until your little one can sit up upright by themselves, but they do need to be able to sit upright with a little help. These are the main development features to look out for. There's also a few other signals that are ready for solids, such as showing more of an interest in what you're eating. They also have pretty good coordination, such as being able to look at the food, pick it up, and then direct it towards their mouth. Finally, they may also start to chew on their fists, or start wanting to be fed more milk. So do the new guidelines mean you can feed your baby any solid foods? Unfortunately not. There are still foods you should avoid, such as raw eggs. Salt, sugar, and honey should also be treated with caution. Your baby should never eat too many salty foods, as it can have a seriously negative impact on their kidneys. So if you're planning on giving them the same foods the rest of the family is eating, be sure they don't have gravy or stock cubes, for example, as these are notoriously high in salt. Similarly, too much sugar is also bad for babies. They actually don't need any sugar in their diet. If they're exposed to a high sugar diet, it can cause problems with their teeth. Avoiding high sugar snacks and fruit juices will ensure you don't overload them with unnecessary sugar levels. Instead, sweeten food with fruits such as bananas. Honey is one of the few foods parents are urged to avoid until 12 months of age. This is because it can contain specific bacteria which creates toxins within a baby's intestines. This in turn can lead to what is known as infant botulism, a serious illness. Of course, honey also contains sugar, so it's bad for the baby's teeth too. Overall, the introduction of solid foods from 4 months of age can help to reduce the risk of food allergies. However, as with anything, it is better to consult a doctor before introducing anything new into your child's diet. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate it if you'd share this video with someone else who you think would benefit from knowing this information, as well as hopping on over to our website and signing up for our email newsletter by clicking the link in the description. By signing up, you not only be the first to hear about our new releases, but you also get exclusive goodies that are only given to our email subscribers. Finally, the next time you're looking to buy baby products, I encourage you to take a look at what we have available. 
Let me tell you, we aren't just out to make a profit, and pride ourselves in our high quality products and excellent service. All Starlight Baby products are laboratory tested to ensure they are 100% safe for you and your baby, which unfortunately isn't something every company can say. On top of that, we donate 10% of our profits to children's charities and hope to increase this percentage as Starlight Baby continues to grow. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and here's to making a positive difference in the lives of our children and the world as a whole.